So the key to vertical jigging is doing just that, it's staying vertical. And what you want to do to stay vertical, it's a pretty simple process. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to put the nose of the boat into the wind. Don't worry about which way the current's going, always keep the nose of the boat into the wind. So you can see right now I'm talking directly into the wind because that's the way that the nose of the boat is facing. And then what we do is something that I like to call line chasing. If the boat drifts from right to left, all you're basically doing is just chasing the line, trying to keep that line perfectly vertical. So you can see as this wind is blowing, it's actually drifting the boat back up current and you can see that line is getting further away from the boat. So I take the electric motor and I just drive it right back to the line. And one of the things you want to keep in mind with your electric motor is you don't want to have it overpowered, meaning that you're driving over top of the line. Um, just a little bit goes a long way, little small adjustments is all you need. So now I'm actually drifting back, so I'm going to drive the boat back forward. And that's vertical jigging. You're going to be constantly adjusting your electric motor all day long to stay perfectly vertical. Now you have a couple options when it comes to your electric motor and staying vertical. You can use a key fob, which is what I have in my hand here. And when I'm one rod jigging, I prefer to use the key fob. It's something that I've grown up using and I just feel very comfortable with it. Or you can use a foot control. There's no right or wrong when it comes to that. It's totally personal preference. And whatever feels most comfortable for you when you're up on the bow fishing. We've been able to stay on them pretty good all day. And catching ourselves just a ton of fish. Absolutely a ton of fish. Man, what a beautiful looking walleye that is.